You? Are you there? Are you here for the delivery job? Come closer, please. Well, in a past life, I was a courier, so I guess I am here for it. Yes, sir. Yes. I recognize you. A regular courier would suffice, but you... Well, this is fortuitous. You're a person of many parts, aren't you? I heard you cheated death. Left quite a mark around here. Nothing like being dug out of a shallow grave to give you perspective, eh? Um... How do you know about that? All this time. Everything you've done. Your choices. The people you've killed. You can't control that story. You may not realize it, but you're becoming the stuff of legend. Whether you like it or not, if not for my infirm condition, I'd be apt to hear your take on things. You have made your choices, seen the consequences. I did much the same long ago in another life. I am still paying for those choices. Couriers have a special role. One of trust. I hope you will maintain that fidelity. As this delivery... It's... I can't put this off any longer. I want you to deliver a package to a man in Westside. His name is Bradley. In exchange, I will pay you 500 caps, all up front. Consider it a gesture of goodwill and trust. Is the proposal satisfactory? I'll do it. Uh, actually, uh, I suspect that there's more in this package than meets the eye. Make it a thousand and we have a deal. Why not? The opportunistic avarice of the wasteland never ceases to surprise me very well this is all i have deliver this letter and key to bradley a mercenary under the employ of the west side militia once the letter is delivered you are free of any responsibility to me however if you elect to assist Bradley, I will be in your debt. I hope this will be an end to things. A just settlement. Good luck, courier. I would like to be alone now. Well, we got a thousand caps regardless, and Bradley, I thought his name was Russell. Russell might be a different mod entirely. Whoa, what are you doing? Okay. We need to go to find someone named Bradley. And we already got a marker up there at the Thorn because we did do some work up here in New Vegas. So that's up there in Fiend's territory. I'm sure it's going to be some type of gunfight. So get your, get your gun out. Well, you don't have one, do you? Um, Does jumping at them with my fists count as ranged? Uh, no, it doesn't. But do you have a gun? Oh, you got a, you got a pea shooter. Come on now. You're making me carry the heavy stuff. I'm sure I have something for you. Something better than that. Let's here take a lever. Actually, I might want the lever action shotgun. Not giving you my sniper rifle. You can take the. Um, let's see. Let's check the action on that lever action versus the pump. Well, it's in poor condition, so I need to fix it anyway. So, guess uh, using my standard pump action that I always love using. Probably need plenty of bullets, obviously, too. You're so. You carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Um, no, but I don't have, well, I do have some, not much. Don't waste it.
Make sure your shots count. That thing's better than just using your fist. Running straight up to Cazadors and stuff, fighting stuff. It's good on interiors, but not exterior. Bradley? Look, I'm on duty. If you've got something to say, make it quick. Got a delivery for you. What? Are you sure it's for me? All right, give me a second. Hold on. I thought I heard something. Probably dead. West. Oops, I did not mean to. Th I'm hitting the F keys instead of. Cocksucker. Get that you need to get that mod where you can slow down time with action points or whatever. More inbound from that house. Light them up. Just go down here and handle them. You thought you could hide from me. That's the fuck. end of that. There's a fuckload. Oh, he's dead, so let's go ahead and take it. Load inbound from the west. Use. Let's see. Fiend helmet, laser. She might like that. We don't need the helmet, Make though. Your shots count. The rest of that crap. Uh, I'll take your frag grenade. You can keep your armor. I don't care. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are we shooting at? All hostiles down. Guess they're down now. What is this? Well, would you like to drop the gun? I'll take your single shotgun just because it might sell for a few bucks. It ain't going to sell for a lot, but it might sell for more than zero, so I'll take it. Where's this guy at? Is he still... Did he go back up on his post? I know he's, I'm pretty sure he's not dead, I wouldn't think. Well, he's not up here, so. There's no way he's dead, because that'll be the end of the mod already. Um. I didn't mean to do all that, but I guess he'll eventually show back up. I remember we got a thousand caps for nothing. I don't know. Okay, so what the fuck is going on here? I mean, um, 
Uh, they think they're bugged out. Seriously, what? Just are they even entities? Yeah. Okay. Trying to like they're stuck. Now it's just a big web of nothing. Just what the? All right. Well. I don't know what's going on. It's just a big web of nothing over there. Let's try this again. Let's try over here. Disable would work too, yeah. But I think we got our map marker back at least when we fast travel. So maybe it reset whatever bugged out right there. That was just... I'm not shocked at all seen that many raiders since I guarded a caravan passing through 80s territory. You're a courier, right? After that little fracas, color me impressed. You moved like a merc. Glad you were here. Since we got a little breathing room, I'd like to check out that package. A sealed letter. Let's see what it says. Y'all hear him talking? Dear Bradley, my name is Joe Sellers. I'm almost certain you've never heard of me. Note, when I wrote this letter I was unsure if I'd summon the nerve to send it okay I made choices long ago that impacted you more than you may know I often question my decisions how things turned out I will get to the point right I am your father I separated with your mother not long after you were born the reasons for my decision are complicated it was not for lack of feeling or to shirk responsibility on the contrary, I became an exile to ensure your safety. Not long after I met your mother, there was a war, and I was on the losing side. Mere association with me could be mistaken for complicity. As a result, I cut all ties with your mother. She went to Reno, and I wandered. I've no doubt you harbor resentment for my action. You, if you hate me or only wish to ignore me, I only beg you to accept my parting gift. Consider it my feeble attempt to reckon for your abandonment. I know you have subsisted as a soldier of fortune for some time. I never wanted that life for you. Better in your life, cocksucker. There is a vault in the Mojave that contains enough wealth to let you start anew. You could leave the hazards of the frontier behind you. There is nothing I can offer to make up for the pain I inflicted on you and your mother, but I still owe you this birthright. It is all that I have left. Make no mistake, this is not a simple salvage. You must walk a dangerous path to collect the means to access the vault. However, I believe your profession has given you the skills and necessary fortitude to see this through. Enclosed with this letter is a key, the first of three required to open the vault. The next key is in the Linus Caverns in the Mesquite Mountains. It's been so long since these measures were put in place, I have no idea what you'll find there aside from the next key. I understand if you wish to dispose of this note and erase any notion of connection to me, you would be more than justified. Consider this my last will and testament. Your father, Joe Sellers. No, is this some kind of con? Come clean or I'll butt stroke your skull. I was just an old man in a hotel room told me to do it. Now, let's see. I just delivered the goods. I'm not privy to what's inside. Excuse my skepticism, but what the f am I supposed to make of this? Some old coot writes me, says, I inherited his stash. Even if it's a con, it she expects me to go digging through knows what kind of holes to get some key that noise. This man very well could be your father. Don't you want to at least look into it? Let's get something real clear. I don't have a father. Let's say, however unlikely it may be, that this old knocked up my mom back in 41. Blowing your wad and walking away doesn't make you a father. This cocksucker had some nerve if he thinks he can just pay me off. Him and his long John Silver give me a treasure map to call. To hell with that. To hell with him. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, this is a good answer. If you're not interested, I'll take the key. No, no, no. I know better than that. I don't have any illusions of some Sierra Madre treasure buried in the desert, but there could be something. If he's what I think he is, ex-enclave, then that could be worth my time. Those old bastards still have munitions dumps scattered around. A lot of pre-war tech sells for a mean price out here. Fuck if Van Graaff scavenged the shit out of everyone. It'd be fun to undercut them. I'm not opposed to investigating this, and I'd be willing to split some of the goods if you help out. Seems you know how to handle yourself. Only thing is that I'm under contract to West Side, and as you just saw, there's something of a fiend problem. I don't know where they get the manpower, but fiends keep coming out of the woodwork to attack West Side. Even though badass bounty hunters killed some of their ringleaders, I did. it seems someone else is stepping in to stir them into a frenzy. Rumor has it some strung out witch doctor has the fiends on a drug fueled holy ward against West Side. Really, I, I couldn't make this up. It seems he's holed up in the old Hoffman mine just west of here. If you can take him out, the fiend attacks should taper off. If the fiends are neutralized, I should be clear of my duties here, at least long enough to track down the vault. I have to stand watch, but I'll throw in some caps if you take care of this for me. Afterward, we can strike off together. Deal? I'll do it. Good. Here's a few things I was holding on to. They should help you clear those fuckers out. Just check back with me when it's done. All right. C4 plastic explosives, a detonator, and stealth boy. I'm not going to need a stealth boy. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to this uh, cave. How far away is it? Not far at all, actually. Veronica, you you got me? Okay. That was a long shot. What do we got? Right, let's go to quick little pit stop if we can. Is it Novak or Prim? It's Prim where I want to go. We haven't even cleaned out Prem yet. But then again, we're a bounty hunter. We're not really going that particular route, so. Um, we could be in ambush by something. Oh, escape combat. All right, let me, just give me all your stuff. Idiots. I guess they see an NCR Ranger and or NCR, yeah. Nice shot. Look at that. The right center mass dude goes straight back. Didn't even have a chance. And I just walked right into a grenade because I'm an idiot. And oh, that's. I was wondering where you were coming from, but you decided to drop in on us. Lovely. Happy to see you too. Anybody else? Any other idiots want to drop in? Well, ain't exactly the smartest group, are you? Gotcha. Apparently not. Definitely not the smartest group. Looks like you lost your head, dummy. Wow. <laughs> this is with a 12 gauge. That far away and I still took his head clean off. Oh my god. Luckily, all we need is his head to get loot. Is that it? Also, hey, Quan Chi. I, I see you. First of the KP, hey, Steve, hey. I'm just doing a recording, so I'm trying to not interrupt constantly to respond to chat. I'm trying to make it immersive, but I do see you.
Um, try to fix it. Um, run the repair. Forget all about him. Or oh, it. Again. Um. Oh, he can make ammo. I didn't know he could make ammo out of all that stuff. Uh. No, let's just log off and you just follow us. All right, so now we're going to have Eddie, which is this robot, uh, like, what do they call it, an iBot? Yeah, it's an iBot. He's going to follow us around and play us some music and zap people because he's awesome. Plus, he really doesn't get in the way at all. He's just, you know, if you can get him, he's a great companion just for the fact that he really stays out of the way and he can fly. So, like, he doesn't get stuck on anything. We're just going to say he, because his name is Eddie. But we're probably going to get Russell. I thought Russell was part of the Inheritance. Apparently, he's a different mod entirely. I'm guessing. But let's go down here and deal with these fiends. We're clean out this... Uh, to clean out this cave. Yeah, this is a mod. To Albert and the uh, chat. This is the inheritance mod we're doing right now. So we can get us an extra follower. We don't even really need to do this. But it does fit with the fact that I am a bounty hunter. And that's the entire point of the series is being a bounty hunter. Oh, I thought she was dead. My bad. Okay, so... Got some decent ammo and loot in here so far. Check the BBs. The BB gun's not worth anything, but we can sell the BBs for a little something, probably. Take a varmint rifle just to sell it. Give me a second, I'll be right back.
lights off. Now let's get back to this. And take out these fiends. I don't know if stealth is an option. I doubt it with a shotgun, but you know, at least try to be a little bit stealthy. I don't think it's going to get that bad, Snorlax. I hope not. I hope not. We're probably overpowered beyond all these fiends anyway, but it's just nice to take your time sometimes and really hunt them. I see you. See you too. I just got an achievement cost 10,000 damage with gun. Jesus. What are you shooting at? Uh, I can barely see them. They're blending into the, the background. Just get your shotgun out and go clear them out. One of them just caught fire. There you pricks out. Martino, hello. And goodbye. It was not nice to meet you at all, sir. I'm sure I'll meet you again. Wanna gauge rounds. Y'all using these crap tier shotguns in here. The entire thing is you steal from people and your junkies. Just get decent weapons. Got two companions I can dump all this crap on. Whoa, where are you shooting at? Got him. About to shoot you, Veronica, my bad. What is all this? Of course, to be drinking Nuka Cola and eating garbage. Stay back. You too. All right, it's on now. Can't shoot for. Sh you like the sight of your own blood? You three and you four. How y'all like that? And sorry, <laughs> you're dressed just like them. You're you're dressed all like weird. Look, you're gonna have to be pack rat. Something good for me? Is it a dress? Not really, but I mean, you're gonna have plenty of crap. I'm gonna fill you up as much as I can with all this crap. She's probably gonna use those grenades. I don't really care. Hey, hey, I can't really move now. All right, well, that's fine. Where's Eddie? Eddie. You're like the size of like a golf ball and somehow can carry a bunch of stuff, I think. So, um, I don't know how he can carry any of this, but I guess that's all he can carry. Okay. Well, we got plenty of loot. So, it looks like we're at the HQ of Head Honcho, so, you know what? Yes. Use melee. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead and take him out for me. I'm hit. And you're dead. You know, you could have been a lot nicer, you know? I wonder if you, um, dressed up as a fiend, if you could have just walked in there and, uh, talked to him. Probably could have. You probably could have. Lots of drugs, though. As you'd expect from fanes. If you want a dress, you can have some sle sexy sleepwear. <laughs> I doubt she would wear it. What would you be? I, I'm scared to even take it off because it might be her naked. <laughs> Seriously, with how mods are, they're just like, you know, there's a lot of porn mods for these games. And one of the highest rated or highest downloaded mods for this game is a porn mod, or that has porn mods in the collection. So I'm not interested. And holy crap, we just walked into uh, the barracks, I guess. Jesus. God. What a mess. I know it's sick, but I'll sleep on your bed for an hour just to get some HP back. I don't even know who to sell all this crap to. I guess the gun runners, if I can figure out where they are. I think they have a decent amount of money. Lots of, lots of drugs. Empty drugs, but might be worth something. I don't know. We'll just give it away, I guess. Those ain't worth nothing, so might be just crap. Couple of skulls. That's romantic. Take your shotgun. You had a nice little loot fest down here. I grew a Snorlax in the chat. I wish we did have the technology that gave us infinite pockets in like new vegas we could carry like 20 shotguns in your back pocket somehow you bleed, bitch. Come on. you punched him so hard his arm fell off and he died show got for me that's it for a couple of crappy nine millimeters and that's it what I expected out of you people, but there's a pistol. Got nothing I want. Ah, I'm over encumbered. I can give you something, I'm sure. Some type of apparel that ain't worth nothing like this. You have all your helmets back. They ain't worth nothing. And, um... Have your sexy sleepwear, too. It's nasty. Ain't nobody need to wear that ever again. Thank you uh, for that, Alexander.
That's that's cool, man. That's cool. Hey. What are you shooting? Um. Whatever it is, y'all can handle it. We've already killed the chieftain or whatever. Go ahead and just leave. Well, more fiends, apparently. Right when you were taking a massive boogie. Oh, man. I hate when that happens. I hate when anything happens when you're taking it. It's like you're most. Oh, you're most exposed. We need to get rid of some of this crap, so. An old the saber. Old the saber. It's an old granny car. Pretty rough. It's a little bit roughed up, but it gets me from A to B, and that's it. Don't need to worry about it. You know, never have to worry about it breaking down anyway. Not often. Hello. Let's see if we can find the gun runners, because I'm not exactly. Okay. I don't know. I've never been under it, so I don't know if it has rust or not. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. As far as I know, the engine transmission and everything was babied by some granny until I got it. So, I mean, I think it might have been in a wreck at some point because it does have a few strange consistencies on the uh, cosmetically, but um, it doesn't really have any. It doesn't. It doesn't drive like it's damaged. It just has a few oddities on it. But it's a twenty-some-year-old car, so I really don't care. I'm not trying to impress the ladies with it. I'm trying to find this gun runners thing though. Where where is it even at? I think it's supposed to be like right off the strip or right near the strip or something. Or Mick and Ralph's or well Mick and Ralph ain't got as much as the gun runners. I think gun runners have like a lot more money. Well, somebody just got caught on, just caught on fire. <sighs> what are you shooting at? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to shoot a king. I did not mean to shoot a king. But I don't I don't want to make the kings angry. Watch your caps. They go quick. Self-control is a virtue. Oh, that's lovely. I was uh, going to ask for directions, but that's that's good enough. Self-control is a virtue. Let me see if I can look up where the freaking gun runners are. Located just south of Freeside. Okay, so I need to go to Freeside and go south. All right. Close enough. Good enough. Let's just see if I can see it on a map really quick. Okay, so gun runners are there's Freeside North Gate. There's the Freeside East Gate. Strip North Gate. It's east of where I come in and south of the north gate okay so I'm trying to get this chat to be. Of 
close this. Move this over just a bit. I hate how Vegas has this stupid freaking thing where like it just won't like you click anything like all tabbing out of it is just a pain. So we need to go into free side and that's gonna be south of free side. So what direction are we looking? Okay. There's the old Mormon fort right there. Death is gonna be I probably need to get a mod to actually even get the um we go straight, it looks like we'll be able to get there. Yeah, I live in Canada. I'm American, but I live in Canada. Born in America, live up here, though. This is the easy way to put that. Where in the are they go? Okay. Try this. There. <laughs> that was. Um, I am in the wrong spot, but we're at least close. Okay. I consider myself American, even though I live in Canada. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? So much good for sale. I need to process our transaction. Okay. Um, yeah, take all this crap. Oh, you got 8,000 bucks. All right, yeah, you take all this NCR crap. It ain't worth nothing to me. Um. I didn't give him a sniper rifle, did I? No. Okay. Guess he just doesn't want it for whatever reason. Um, like that. Uh. Oh, don't want anything else out of there. At least we got a fast travel thing for here. Uh, the overlook, where is it? At? The overlook, uh, right here. That's where I want to go. Okay, uh, let's... Sort all that. Um, sort my... Eight items. Just take the stem packs out of here. Super stem packs. And I got doctor's bags. Yeah, take them out too. Everything else can stay. Um, where is my... Sniper rifle, it stunned disappeared somehow. I don't know why. Okay. 
Okay, so... Got my shotgun. I need my 12 gauge rounds. My 308 rounds. For some reason, my sniper rifle went missing unless I gave it to one of you two. No, not you. You? Who got something good for me? Is it a dress? Um, no, there's my sniper rifle. Okay. Thank God for that. And Veronica, you can have the bed. I'll do the sleep roll tonight. Oh, this morning, anyway. Make sure we got everything we need, though. Okay, we're all set. All right. I don't think we've made the Legion mad, so they're not going to send death squads after us anyway. I don't even think we've run into the Legion at all since we've started this playthrough. Uh, to answer a question in chat, it says, what kind of character would Boogie be in Fallout? He would be... I don't know. He'd probably be one of those guys that the uh, Atomic Wrangler, like, you know, paying for the the cheap entertainment and catching, you know, ghoul aids or whatever you would call it. Whatever the ghouls have, if you catch it from them. All right. So we need to go all the way to. I don't really feel like dealing with him right now. We, we can deal with that later. I thought it was going to be Russell. So we're going to just go back to Randall. And pick up another uh, bounty. The <laughs> centaur. Well, we know if he was uh, in Left 4 Dead, he'd be a boomer. That's pretty obvious. All right. We haven't seen Randall in a little while. Been busy doing some other bounty catching. Hope he doesn't mind. Hey, Randall. Did you take care of Kurt? Yeah. Good work. You're bringing us a lot of business, so here's a bonus. Nice. The NCR needs help tracking down a defector. Sure. Good. Here's the story. Chuck Bowdry, a senior NCR ranger, recently defected to Caesar's Legion. Before jumping ship, he killed two fellow rangers while on patrol. Our client wants this guy terminated with extreme prejudice. We don't have many leads, but he's said to be on the run up north. I happen to know that several rangers in Bowdry's old troop used to crash at Field Shack close to Nellis. You might try there. Good luck. We'll check it out. It's up near Nellis, which, uh, Raul Shack, Raul or whatever Shack, Raul. I don't know what that says. We had to go up there for something at some point. We haven't actually met him yet. If I think that's a follower. We haven't met him yet. Why do I keep using the other keyboard when I'm supposed to be using the one on my, closer to my left side? I guess I'm just so used to having my hand right in the middle. Instead of just, you know, having my arms on each arm of the chair doing this. Uh, GTA, to Atrex in the chat, and GTA Boogie would be the guy saying, My mother's my sister! Off of GTA 3. Ralph will be, yep, I've been drinking again. <laughs> that would be his NPC chatter. I don't think he's smart enough to be Lester in GTA 5 now. Ain't got nothing here. Empty shack devoid of clues. You 
should search to, uh, for him elsewhere. This is the one where I think we're going to be ambushed. So let's go ahead and take whatever he's got. And um, uh, a BB gun. Good God. $500 BB gun. A 500 cap BB gun. I'll take your, I'll take your bullets because I can sell them. If we really want to start uh, doing that. I wish there was just like a vendor with unlimited caps, though. This way I could just dump all my crap to one vendor and just... Just like a cash-in spot, but I don't think they exist. Are you ready? Because we're about to get into something, I think. Yep. You're dumber than you look, kid. Did you really expect to get the drop on a seasoned ranger? Either way, I'm not here to talk. Close your eyes, kid. I'll make it quick. Over here. He back. says you the guy I'm a, literally a guy with two companions and I'm in ranger armor full freaking ranger armor oh he's not dead now he's dead <laughs> well he's not dead now he's dead exactly Chuck's finger thanks do I want your hat no you can keep it this yeah you can keep all that crap A machete can come with me though, because it's worth something. A legionary assassin? Did he, what did he do? Defect to the legion or something? I guess he did. I guess he's working with the legion now. Not the smartest move. Okay, so let's head on back to Randall. That was a simple one. We just got a we just got ambushed. No way just to be polite. Hey. Is there a problem? Fucking feral ghouls. I don't want to fire because I'm gonna hit Randall and he's gonna get aggroed and he's Chuck Nib. Uh, yeah, but you might want to move away from that flame. Good. I must admit, I harbor an acute loathing for traitors of any sort. So here's a bonus on me. Yeah, you might want to walk away from that flaming corpse right there. Yeah, I don't think flames feel very good on the human body. There's another bounty if you're here to work. What do you got for me? All right. The target is Billy Bogan, a recently escaped convict from the NCR Correctional Facility. He was on death row for the murder of an NCR ranger, Captain Gunn. Young Billy was headed for the gallows, but now he's running free, much to the chagrin of the NCR. Seeing as to how they're stretched thin, the NCR's relying on you to see that Billy doesn't escape justice. Our informant said that Billy's formed a new gang composed of ex-cons, raiders, and various misfits, and apparently they're armed to the teeth. Billy and his gang are headed north, likely to raid in lawless regions. I'm betting they're camped outside the Northern Passage. Get up there and bag that punk. Good luck. Woody, I don't know what you're talking about, but it's not a good idea to come in somebody's chat and say, you blocked me for no reason when you know if you were blocked obviously you did something to get blocked and you should not be you know continuing to bother somebody who blocked you so i don't know what you got blocked for i didn't block you it might have been nightbot i don't know but now that you're you know trying to ban evade see you later it's probably nightbot anyway that got you but I'm not going to sit here an hour, argue for an hour over somebody that was, you know, muted or gotten rid of for a reason. Just people, if I did, that would just be the entire stream. People coming and being like, oh, why did you block me? I don't know who you are. It's like, oh, I'm this person. I'm like, I don't know who that is either. So just bye. <laughs> I mean, just 
think that's a little bit crazy to keep trying to bother somebody that doesn't want to talk to you. Now, what in the world are we about to walk into? Because there is a bunch of something over here that we're just not going to be happy about. All those red dots right there. What? I don't see any. Oh. Come on. That's Billy right there. He had a whole little posse with him. Damn, how much armor do they got? enough to take down five shotgun shells to the chest then we hit extra right now the fact that he almost took a shotgun blast to the dome is amazing no seriously if you get banned from a channel don't come back It obviously means you ain't welcome there. You did something for the person to tell you to go away. I don't know what. Cause I don't keep up with every person that gets thrown out. I mean, the easiest way, that if you want an explanation of why someone would get removed from chat or the community is one, they broke the server rules in the discord. And I mean, sorry, some, just a lot of people do. You know, it's not hard to, you know, follow basic rules. And the other reason is because you were probably an asshole in the comments. And I didn't feel like listening to that. So if you want to reach out, the best way to do it is with honey and not vinegar. Because vinegar is a 50-50 shot on if I'm going to just reply with okay or if I'm going to just tell you to get lost. Take care of Billy and his gang. You're kicking ass out there, kid. At this rate, I'm gonna be out of contract soon. But don't worry, there's plenty of work left. Right, what you got for me? There's a bounty in Westside. You ready to work? Good. Before we delve into this bounty, I'm gonna give you a quick history lesson. Now, stop rolling your eyes, damn it. This relates to the job. I'll assume you're unfamiliar with the regulators. In the eastern U.S., regulators are idealistic vigilantes, hell-bent on killing bad guys. However, in the core region, regulators are a very different breed. They're basically thugs who force businesses to pay protection money. They're authoritarian gangsters, really. This relates to your bounty because the target is a western regulator by the name of Dallas Courtright. Recently, Dallas drifted into Westside and appointed himself sheriff and de facto dictator. He's taxing commerce and breaking heads left and right. In light of this, a collection of concerned citizens has contracted us to convince Sheriff Courtright to leave by any means necessary. This is an unusual contract in that you don't have to kill or capture the target. Just convince him that leaving is in his best interests. If he's a stubborn and you have to let the lead do the talking, so be it. Just get him out of Westside. Good luck. Yes, Commander. I'll take care of it without any problem. All right. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. What's up, buddy? All right. I just think this simple policy, if you come to me and you are... I'm not saying you need to respect me or treat me like a king or anything, but if you come in here and just like 
the first thing out of your mouth is some rude, you know, unnecessary comment. that's not constructive at all, then you're just gonna get muted. You're just gonna get removed and we're not gonna talk to you. I think that's completely fair. I mean, see Joe's here, he's here every night. We never have a problem with Joe. Because Joe comes in here and acts like he got some sense. Yeah, it's probably, I, I, I don't know if Fallout New Vegas is my favorite game of all time, but it's, it's way up there. It's at least in my top five. Fallout 3 is well up there too. I think Fallout 3 has a better world, like a better setting, because I'm um, actually, you know, I know DC a lot better than I do Vegas, and I'm a lot more used to v DC's, uh, just just the Potomac and all that stuff, so it like actually kind of speaks to me more than Vegas doesn't work. What are we? What are we? Am I screwed up somewhere? I guess we gotta go inside the thorn. Is what it is. I'm just saying, if someone comes in here and they're an asshole, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with them. I'm not gonna sit here and waste. Half the stream being like wings raging out at the people in the chat or, you know, whatever. If someone's going to come in here and be like, hey, you suck, you you know, your videos are crap and, you know, you need to stop talking about Boogie because he's better than you, whatever. Just, just block him. Who cares? They're just trying to start foolishness. What can I do for you, citizen? Um... You've done a great job here, uh, Sheriff, but your services are needed elsewhere. difference here there's plenty of other towns that need regulating Is that it <laughs> okay so all i had to do was tell a guy to get lost and that was it for the whole bounty <laughs> all right <laughs> that was easy uh, it's just i think there's a difference between See, when that whole look here, look, listen, that was someone trying to be helpful and Wings being dumb. Uh, where is he at? What is this? Uh, it's nothing. Are you invisible? I can take your caps, apparently. Um. So this is what he's staring at all the time. I must be missing something. Oh, I see it. Take this combat knife, 500. The bloodstained note reads, Fox, Randall, and Associates are finished. Your employer is dead. Javier will be with you shortly. Sincerely, the judge. You found the note. Good. Do you know why I'm here? Because you are uh, the uh, Javier Sugar, basically Anton Chigor from No Country for Old Men. Uh, what happened to the Randall? I buried him in the desert. Why are you here? I'm here to give you an offer. Uh, what do I stand to gain? You stand to gain everything. Well, I don't have much. Uh, I'm not interested in the you offer. Know what has to happen then? Who do you work for? Should have taken the offer. Aren't you going to beg? Uh, no. Did 
you at least give me a amazing shotgun or something? Shabby gambler suit a stem pack a something. Randall's safe key. Well, his shotgun fell through the... I want the silent shotgun from the movie. Well, I guess it just fell out of the earth. Is it a mod for his shotgun? You can keep your stupid suit. Is it worth anything? No. All right. So I don't. I don't need that. So let's see what's in Randall's safe. Sweet revenge. A new revolver that we're gonna have is our main, probably, uh, just because of him. I'm dead. Oh boy. Um. Well, since you're dead, I'm gonna go ahead and take that pistol that I was admiring at the beginning of this. Uh, this particular series. Right, let's um, let's read the thing. See what it says. Dear Fox, I'm. If you're reading this, I'm probably dead or kidnapped. I haven't been forthright about the recent developments in the business, because I never wanted to get you mixed up with my BS kid. Nonetheless, here we are. You're probably wondering who would kill me. And to be honest, I only can speculate. However, I'll offer my pro prognostication for my ultimate demise, untimely demise. Recently, Randall and Associates have been cutting into the market share of Richter and Associates, a bounty hunting firm with a penchant for brutality. It is the head of a, by a shadowy, shadowy figure known as the Judge. I don't know much about the man. I'm willing to bet that he's a person who's had me knocked off. I'm sure... Well, I assume that you've dealt with his assassin, the humorless Mr. Sugar. Not Sugar, but, uh, yeah. I've blown off the initial advances by the judge's cronies, and it's only a matter of time before he uses force. I'm probably just uh, being paranoid. Anyway, if you're reading this, I want you to know that you're the best bounty hunter I ever had pleasure of working with, and I also, oh, uh, with, and although I'll never tell you as long as I'm alive, I want you to take all the caps, but there's something else. There's a 44 in the safe call I call Sweet Revenge. It was manufactured by a, a long time ago. Well before the war, I swore I would never fire it until um, I found Marco, the man who butchered my family back east. You're all I've got left, kids, so take it. Better yet, Take it and go kill the uh, the person who put me in the ground. Carmack, the ju uh, judge's chief slave, which is a reference for Cormac McCarthy, the guy that wrote No Country for Old Men, and Blood Meridian, which is what the judge is from. Uh, Cormac, the judge's chief slave trader, is the liaison for the fiends. If you find Cormac you'll find the way to the judge last I heard he's shacked up with Violet yeah he's out there where Violet's dead I've already killed Violet uh, there's one more thing swear to me here and now that no matter what will happen you'll find Marco and kill him for me and everyone else he's taken from me I know the judge is going to be in your crosshairs but that was strict that was strictly business and I came to accept such risks long ago know this when marco dies a violent painful death my soul will be at rest until that day i'll do my best to haunt you <laughs> so by the way this is only part one of a three-part series this uh new vegas thing the new vegas bounty so we're near the end of the first one but there are two after this that are just as long so we got a lot more content on these bounties alone and even more after that probably it was a privilege to work with you, kid. Remember, justice is truth in action. Let that guide you in the coming days severely, Stephen Randall. P.S. If you ever come across a marshal named Cooper, give him my regards. I don't know about Cooper yet. This is probably in the uh, second. Second uh, thing of this. Did he have any more caps? 
Well, he's dead, so we can take all his stuff. It's not stealing, technically. You know, we lost karma. It doesn't matter because he's dead. So I'll take his bottle of whiskey, too, and we'll go ahead and get a drink of that. Our guy has not drank whiskey at all, but we'll, we'll drink that to honor him and get a little drunk on his behalf. R.I.P. Randall. Take all that. Well, do you have anything else in here? A single 12 gauge round. Yeah, put it in the Discord, Bubo. All right. Um, I didn't even read any of these. Whatever, they're all, that's just a bounty notes for all these different people. If you want to know more context, which I don't feel like reading right now. So kill Cormac and acquire information on the judge's whereabouts. Let's, uh, yeah, it's just where Violet is. We've already killed Violet, so it's not going to be that difficult. She might, there might be some fiends out here, but up oh, the whiskey wore off. R.I.P. Steve. Yep, there's going to be a ton of them out here, aren't there? I still wonder if that lever action shotgun's any better than this one. Might be faster. We get litters of them. Are you serious? A freaking center shot with this stupid rifle and it's not. That was a nice shot. Oh, he just set that one on fire. Nice. That's enough of that. Yeah, that's enough of that, but there's quite a few more of them probably, so you might not be might probably don't have enough of that yet. take it just because we can sell it i don't even know how much money we got i haven't even paid attention I'm gonna make you well thanks eddie you took her head off <laughs> i'll be shocked if these ever get monetized for all the gore that's in them that's that's exactly why i didn't do the the um bloody mess um perk because i didn't want to get demonetized for all the ridiculous gore that brings to the game Lord, I'm running a lot faster than normal, I guess, because I don't have as much crap on me. I've offloaded. Wow, somebody lost her head. That's nice. That's, that's absolutely lovely. Someone lost her head. Wait, what? It's 
So... For some reason, I'm being pointed in the wrong direction. Because I know for a fact that the, or that's Violet's area right there, I think. I don't know why it's pointing me back to there. Because that ain't it. Because this is Violet's little section right here. Cormac should be somewhere around here. I see him. Yeah, thanks for that. Gotta love the grenades. Whoa. Doing so well. Well, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm gonna make you scream. Thanks, Veronica and Eddie, wh whoever killed him. Keep your armor, I don't care about it. All right. Kill the judge. All right, where's he at? Really far away. He's all the way down south of Nipton. What now? Powder gangers. Scorpions. Worried about no scorpions. I remember when I played this first this game at first, I was terrified. I saw a giant red scorpion, one of the black ones, and I was just like, oh my god, and I like hid in the freaking good springs thing for a while. I, I just did, would not come out. I've never seen a scorpion in real life, so. Seeing a giant black one like that just looked like it could just take my head off. I was just terrified of it. Oh, come on. Stupid gates. <laughs> save us some time. <laughs> just, just do that. We'll save some time. Oh, you're, I guess you phased through it too. I was gonna wait for an hour and see if you were gonna come up behind me. Go ahead and just put that away for now. It's Eddie behind, okay, we got him. We got him, Eddie's here. Hi, Eddie. I appreciate that, boobo. By the way, the replay of this will be on the uh, gaming channel and higher definition. Uh, probably sometime tomorrow. Hey. What do we got? I don't know what that was, but uh, he's working with jackals. Lovely. I haven't ran into them yet. They're just idiots. Bring the fight to them if they're not going to come up here. Come here. Where you at? You fall through the ground or something? Whatever. Come on, Veronica. Just ignore them. Well, or do that. No worry about jackals. Brady Shack, Bradley Shack. If I'm not mistaken, if you install the radio, robot radio mod, which I'm gonna do after this, 
uh, it will screw it up and it will override it where you can't finish this uh, this mod. Nice. Um, good lord. Where's Eddie? There he is. Hello, oh, you beautiful rust bucket. You're our rust bucket, though. Go ahead and save before we go in here. Just a hard, regular save, because I don't know what's in here. Um, are we in the right place? Yeah. Bradley Shack. It says this is the right place. According to the map marker. I think I had the same problem last time, though, didn't I? Not a different. Whoa. Is there a trick shotgun somewhere around here? I'm guessing it is. Take all of that. Keep your BB gun. Um. Okay. Am I missing something? That's the weird thing with mods. It's like it's hard to look up a fix when something screws up. So. Might just be at the wrong location. And we were. Because I was wondering, I was like, wait, it's not, that doesn't look like the robot radio headquarters. And that's exactly what it remember, what I remember it looking like was that. So we were just in the wrong spot. We were, had a little bit farther that we needed to go. There we go. Richter and Associates right here. So we just walked into some crazy prepper's house and stole all his stuff <sighs> are y'all ready this is gonna be nasty probably i mean think about it. this guy has made a lot of people angry he's probably got some monster set up in here it even looks like robot radio but it shouldn't be because they don't have robot radio installed Um, go on in. The judge is expecting you. All right. Hey. Hey. Your arrival's well timed. Your restraint is noted. Most in your position would have swept into these chambers with little mind to dialogue. Speech 75, I'm not impressed. Do you really need an armed slaves to face a simple courier? I've been useful for a time. However, I make a habit of recycling my property every six months, and I'm already tired of this crew. Yes, I think it's time for a new set of toys. But first, I'm going to relish killing you by myself. I guess there's no way to talk through this. So you just killed your entire crew on my behalf. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna need some new lamps. That's it. That's what you get. The judge is now dead, which spells the, at the end of Richter and Associates' presence in the Mojave Wasteland. Uh, you've distinguished yourself as a premier bounty hunter in the region. And as a result, you are required to boost your damage resistance. Nice. All right, come here. Come here. 
With the collapse of Mojave's uh, private bounty hunting firms, the market now favors individuals with a skill and fortitude to collect bounties alone, short on manpower, and at the fringes of its territory, the NCR is actively sponsoring bounty hunters, which I'm already part of the NCR, who bring Mojave's most notorious outlaws to justice. Uh, anyone who uh, can acquire a license, regardless of their affiliation, karma, or creed, talk to, speak to, uh, Captain Larry Skull at Boulder City Jail to become an NCR sponsored bounty hunter. Uh, you come out. Still, we need to. We need to have a talk, Judge. Uh, I'm just gonna let me just bar you real quick. Come on, come on, Bubba. Uh, let's go. I, I promise I'm gonna. I'm gonna be nice. Freaking hit the stupid key. What key am I doing? I'm trying to hit. All right, right there. Let, let's bring. Let's just bring you out here real quick. Yeah, I just I just want to talk to you real quick. Real, just, yeah, uh, one one second. Uh, you just ruined my epic moment, you dick. Ah, uh, there's another one. I'll take your suit just as a as a souvenir. I'll take this too as a souvenir. piece of shit he killed Randall he killed everybody else in here including all your bodyguards who are just idiots I'm gonna take their armor though Is this actually worth something Is there anything on your desk no what about here your bodyguard you can keep his sledgehammer that's just dead weight really any food for me? Nothing. Nothing that I want. So, unless you had a speech check, he would. Ooh, hello. Take that. Take that too. And this combat armor. Very nice. Got something in your foot locker? No. Let's take a look. Anything in here? Here? No, 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 nope. Brahma steak, we already know last time you go into an evil guy's lair and eat a Brahma steak, you get killed, so that's not a good idea. Sorry for your loss, buddy. I will take your uh, ammo, though. Thanks for that. Uh, and you... Your death will not be in vain. You will have other people killed with your gear that you never got to use. Also appreciate that compliment, Joe Blow. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. And hopefully everyone out there that is watching this is enjoying my bounty series over here on Johnny Fox Plays channel. All right. I think that's the perfect place to stop. So thank you for watching and outro time.